Hello friends, uh, we are in the topic inverse Laplace transform. In the last class, I have given you some formulas relating to inverse Laplace transform. Now, and some examples also I have given. So some more example for your convenient, I am going to discussing now here. Now, as usual, Laplace inverse of 1 by s plus 5. What is it? It is nothing but what is k there? k is equal to 5. It is e to the power minus 5t. That. Similarly, now Laplace inverse of, suppose if it is given here, it is 1 by s square plus 4 square. Okay. It is equal to what? Corresponding to this function is going to be here sin 4t divided by 4. If it is given function Laplace inverse of s by s square plus 5 square, then the corresponding formula is going to be here. It is cos 5t. That. So, likewise, you can find out. See, one more example. Suppose if it is given here, uh, 1 by s cube, if it is given here, now, what is the corresponding uh, formula there? It is Laplace of direct function is t to the power n, isn't it? So, n is equal to what here it is? s to the power 2 plus 1. So, n is equal to 2 there. It is uh, t to the power n divided by n factorial. It is equal to 2 factorial. Likewise, you can uh, write the formula. So, if you find it difficult, what you try to do is you recall direct function formula and take the inverse of that, recall it yourself and try to write the answer corresponding to that here it is. Okay. So, uh, this is what the uh, introduction as well as the formula collection uh, corresponding to Laplace trans trans inverse transformation. Now, one more property you have studied uh, in the Laplace transform, the same property also you are going to study that. This is what uh, one simple property corresponding to while solving the problem we are using that here. That is Laplace inverse of that C1 into F1 of S plus C2 into F2 of S, it is equal to you can take that C1 outside, Laplace inverse of F1 of S, that function is given in terms of S there, plus uh, C2 into Laplace inverse of F2 of S, right? So, C1 and C2 are constants corresponding to that. That constant you can take outside and you can find the Laplace inverse of the given function that here. Now, so using that we will solve problem later here. Now before that, a small theorem we are going to study that here it is. Okay, let me write here, wait. Yes, what is the statement corresponding to that uh, theorem is going to be here. The uh, say properties or theorem says that Laplace inverse of f of s minus a, it is equal to here, right. We can write it as e to the power a t into Laplace inverse of f of s. That it says that here we can uh, write like this here it is nothing but here Laplace inverse of f of s minus a is equal to e to the power a t this function into Laplace inverse of f of s. Now this has got also a proof corresponding to that here it is. So we can prove it in general we can also prove it here it is that. So very simple proof you know that we have f of s is equal to Laplace of the given function f of t, isn't it? That is what the idea you have now here. Now, which is equal to what? According to the definition of Laplace, e to the power minus a t into f of t dt. That we can write like this here. Now, uh, according to that property here, see, s becomes what here? s becomes s minus a. Right. So, naturally, this is, I have to reduce it as S minus A. So, what you have to do? You have to make a substitution there. Put S is equal to S minus A. Now, corresponding to that S minus A. 
So I am uh, writing both it as uh, yes itself, small s itself. Don't confuse it. Here it is. So uh, one and the same it is here. So while writing that it becomes s minus a. Now here I am applying 0 to infinity e power minus s minus a into t into f of t dt. That is equal to here. Just a change I have done. The term I have uh, replaced that here it is, okay, right? It's not substitution method here. The term I have replaced it here. So corresponding to that 0 to infinity minus st into minus of that here it is. See it becomes plus here, okay, plus at into f of t dt or we can write it as 0 to infinity e to the power e to the power a t that into e power minus s t into you can split like this here it is d t further further you may write like this as e to the power a t into that observe that here I may write this term I will collect this term as s t into f of t d t that but what is this becomes here it is that is equal to e to the power a t this we can write it as laplace of the given function it is f of s isn't it so therefore that here it is right see here that is left side is what f of s minus a is equal to we have got this here now it is given here to uh, take laplace inverse both side here it is so to find Laplace, you know, taking Laplace inverse transformation both sides, yes. So, it becomes here Laplace inverse of f of s minus a, it is equal to Laplace inverse of this function, this as it is you are taking outside e to the power a t into Laplace inverse of Laplace, it becomes here it is identity function, you know that it gives you here it is Laplace uh, inverse of that here it is, isn't it? Laplace inverse of that function which is here f of s isn't it so it is taking laplace inverse both side will uh, uh, get that here it is f of s here okay so this is what the corresponding function here it is laplace of that given function here it is right now uh, corresponding in the same sense here similarly suppose if it is given here laplace inverse of f of s plus a that it becomes here it is e to the power minus a t into Laplace inverse of f of s. Please note that here if it is given instead of uh, s plus a uh, s minus a if it is given s plus a then it is equal to e to the power minus a t into Laplace inverse of f of s here it is okay. So this is what the correspondence uh, uh, to the Laplace inverse of the function here property related to that okay so using that we are going to solve some problems that we will discuss in the next class thank you we'll meet again